guys, it is Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are in Starfield today to go over uh, one of my ship builds, um, and this ship is called the Wyvern. I uh, I wanted to make a really cool dragon themed sort of ship with a sort of a unique layout, and uh, this is what I came up with. It is a, it's a fun ship. It's a class B ship. Um, and uh, I wanted sort of the ground level entrance directly into the cockpit and then to sort of hide everything over the top. Um, so, and uh, as always, guys, remember to like and uh, subscribe. Uh, today, these days more than anything, because YouTube is really up to some odd shenanigans. Uh, I think it's affecting just about every YouTuber. I've seen several videos. And uh, for some of us smaller channels that are just starting out, it uh, it's really impacting us because, uh, who knows? I wish I had more information about it, but some of my other uh, favorite content creators are seeming to have... Uh, problems with uh, subscriptions and getting put into the recommendations so uh, make sure that you guys do that and hit the uh, notifications button um, and I've heard people saying that you need to start setting your uh, subscriptions page as your home page so that you can actually see uh, the content creators that are uh, uploading so I wish I had more information about it but it uh, it's certainly affecting uh, a lot of YouTubers right now. So, but anyway, let's get back to the ship. Uh, this is a Class B ship. I call it the Wyvern. It's uh, kind of like a Drake sort of theme thing. Very fitting with Dragon's Dogma coming out. Although, admittedly, I, I didn't have any sort of uh, goal in doing that. But <laughs> it just sort of happened that way. But it is a very cool looking ship. And you can see I've got some of these really cool uh, landing gear sort of tucked up underneath here. And uh, it has some engines that come out right here. But you will enter the ship right here under the uh, front of the ship, like you see here. And. Uh, right bring you right out here in this companionway with a ladder. It is, of course, not a ladderless build because we have these uh, different levels. Hopefully one day they introduce the stairs and uh, that'll be great. Uh, but it does come up here to this uh, cockpit. This is the... Uh, oh, I'm going to have to probably look at that in the builder to remember the name. I uh, Somebody asked me if I was going to still continue to make Starfield content and the answer is yes. I am going to continue to build ships, but I think I built uh, upwards of 37 or 40 ships within about two months. And so I got a little burnout and uh, my creative juices weren't flowing quite as good as they could. Uh, so it kind of slowed down. I'm going to put, continue to put them out. Hopefully I can put out one or two a month. And uh, I've been playing some other games uh, as well because I am a gaming channel and I want to kind of expand my, uh, my roster and uh, share some more of my gaming with uh, all of you out there. Uh, but we'll come through this uh, long corridor, which will take us to another companionway, which will take us up into uh, this uh, workshop back here. There's not as much uh, in the way of amenities with a ship like this. Uh, we do have a really nice uh, living quarters up here uh, that it connects to the workshop. Of course, we got ourselves a uh, bathroom uh, but we do have this very comfortable living quarters, and then we do have a uh, captain's quarters here where Betty seems to be relaxing. Uh, so we will head back down uh, through a little, little corridor. It's not a maze by any uh, stretch of the word, but it, is, it is, has ladders, and you do have to take a little bit to get back to the living quarters. But the design of the ship, I think, is really cool, and so we will head up and into space so that we can take a look at this ship while it's in flight. Time to leave this place behind. Peaceful from up here, doesn't it? 
But there you have it in flight. A very cool uh, looking ship. I struggled with what I really wanted to call it. I, I wanted to call it maybe the Dragonfly, but then I realized that there is a ship from a television show uh, and this don't look anything like that. So, you know, I wanted to I wanted to give it a really good name and I thought the Wyvern uh, was a really good name for a ship like this. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun to build. Uh, I'm going to keep building ships and uh, playing Starfield. Uh, if you guys want to see maybe some more Starfield content outside of uh, shipbuilding, uh, just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to play lots of different games. I'm a gamer and I like to play a lot of different games. I've been playing Helldivers and Fallout New Vegas and, and putting content up for that. Uh, so, you know, and I know it's in a world filled with a bunch of different gaming channels. I think that I tend to be somewhat unique because uh, I don't really want to make troll videos or meme videos if I can help it and just have fun uh, with my uh, audience. And that's really all that matters to me. So, but yeah, that's the Wyvern. Um, again, it's a Class B ship. Yeah, it's, it's got a decent range. It's got decent cargo. You'll see that when uh, we get into the shipbuilder. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to switch over to the shipbuilder. And uh, we're going to do a quick little a quick little rundown so you guys can see how it is that you can build yourself a wyvern. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we are back here in the uh, shipbuilding menu. And I have... Uh, quite a bit of the wyvern pulled apart here uh, I don't want to do a complete breakdown because it, it takes a little while to do that but uh, this will give you an idea of the general layout um, that you'll need to start with to get the ship going so obviously you're gonna have your Magellan C1X cockpit and it is going to attach to a Nova Galactic one by one storeroom and that will of course attach to your shipbed 200 landing bay uh, from Tayo. And on either side of that, we will have uh, two of these pinpoint uh, 3G landing gears. One is aft and one is four. Um, and they go on the side there, like you see. And then what we will have is a Nova Galactic control station that will go, excuse me, right over the top of that storeroom and it will connect to one, two, and I believe it's uh, four uh, of these uh, Hope Tech Hab Spines. And they will go back here and uh, connect to another Nova Galactic storeroom that you see there that will go up into your Nova Galactic workshop, which will then go up into your Nova Galactic docker. Um, and in front of those, you will put your 2 by 2 all-in-one berth and your Nova Galactic captain's quarters, like you see there. And that is the basic layout of the Habs, and they step step up. But we do have actually uh, six of these Demos 220CB landing bays, or landing gears on either side uh, of your Habs and those Hab spines. And underneath that, we have a T10, two T10 cargo holds, uh, and then you have two of the 20T cargo holds from Sextant Systems. And then the right in between, if you still look, right in between the, the uh, workshop uh, and this cargo hold, we have the NG220 grav drive uh, squeezed in between those two, hidden away. And attached to that, we have a 100CM ballast cargo hold. Uh, right there. And then we do have some of these decorative uh, Demos bumpers. Uh, there's two here along these hab spines and then two uh, on the outer side uh, of these engines. And of course we do have four of the Dunn 71 engines arrayed just like this. And the first two will stick directly uh, to your habs. Um, these ones won't stick to anything, but what you will do is you will take these Nova cowlings like this, these Nova Cowling 2LPFs, and it will attach to the front uh, of that uh, engine you see there and make sure that it's nice and attached. And then, of course, 
Uh, we will have our ion beam H1030 reactor that goes right there. Uh, you could put any reactor or grab drive that you want. Um, these are a little weaker. I just thought that they looked uh, really cool with this particular design. Um, but we do have our uh, gas tanks, and I believe our gas tank goes uh, right here, right over this hab spine that you see here, uh, like that. And then what we will do is we will attach these two Nova braking engines that we have to that. Um, and the reason that we're doing that is because we are going to attach these uh, Nova cowlings. We're going to put one that goes right over the uh, top of your uh, Uh, your cockpit there and then the other one will go uh, right in front of your gas tank like you see there and then we do have some more of this Nova cowling and this one goes here and this is where we're going to do a little bit of trickery uh, we're going to put uh, I believe how did I do that before hmm we'll have to do that differently this time uh, but we will take this to go over the top of our gas tank like you see there. That is not how I had it set up. How did I do this before? Oh yeah, that's how I did it. This goes here. And then we're going to swap that back that way. And then we're going to take and put that there. And then we'll do that. And that gives us a nice look. That's probably how I didn't have it set up, but who knows. And then we've got to have some weapons that we put on our gears here. You could probably put whatever weapons you want on. I just kind of slapped some weapons on as I saw fit. And then we do have a, another one of these Nova cowlings that goes here in the back. And we have some Demos cowling that goes along the back there to give us a nice sort of thing. And then we've got a bunch of this Stroud Eklund's um, that we're going to put on. And this one, I believe, goes like, mm, did I, how did I do that? I believe that goes forward. I might be wrong. Um, and then this one goes there. You're going to take these and you're going to put them there. And then you're going to mirror that on the bottom with some that are flipped upside down. Just like you see there. Yeah. And then you put these here, like so. And that is how you're going to have that set up. Let's go ahead and cancel this and see where I did it different. Ah, there's where I did it different. Um, if you look, I uh, had the uh, Nova cowling down on top of the control station and then the second array up here with the uh, cowling there. So that's where I put that. And then this was, these were even further back. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much the Wyvern. Um, very fun ship to build. I hope you guys enjoy flying it as much as I enjoy building it. Uh, but there's really not much else to go into. So again, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. And uh, make sure you're checking in on the channel uh, whenever you get a chance uh, to see if there's anything new uh, until this whole uh, subscriptions uh, content thing gets figured out on uh, YouTube. So until next time, guys, uh, this has been Ozzy Grimm with 